Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to to episode 72 of My Hero Academia, so let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. You know what the fun thing was? I was kind of up when this came on. Why the hell I didn't watch it? I don't know. I think because we had a really bad storm and I was sleeping. You're dead, but I'm exhausted. My baby, oh my god, he still did awesome last week, and I'm so proud of him. But now it is Kirishima's second fucking episode and I'm so excited for this especially in the backstory and I don't oh god I think they're gonna show someone I, I don't want to say who but um it's a her that's all I'll say and I hope they do show her in, the, in this episode if it's not in this episode I think they're gonna make it probably a three-parter so, if this is essentially part two, the part three, depending on how they're doing this episode, they'll have her show up in the flashback for his art because she's as important as it is. This is the. His backstory in, in the manga was the reason why I shit him and her together a lot. And they're just so fucking cute together. And I'm just like, get together, damn it. <laughs> He's okay. He's fine now. He's just resting. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> I didn't really like even the police officer was still able to keep up with him because you would assume that he would have got separated with the rest of the officers. But hey, <laughs> okay, there's a couple back there too, but still. <laughs> Well, I mean, because of the fact that says his grandfather is, you know, out of commission right now, he has to be the leader and do whatever the fuck he wants to because, I mean, leadership. He can do so many things without even telling you guys.
Oh, I fucking love this man. <laughs> Hiroshima. If only y'all had some light. I mean, but goddamn. They in here fighting in the damn dark, just like banging and Batman. Are they playing this song? Oh, shit, I wasn't expecting it today. Can't say I You have, but This episode is gonna make me cry. I just know it. I'm already fucking tearing up. Oh, God.
It's been a fucking tissues. I wasn't ready for this episode. Keep going, keep going, baby. You got this. You're growing. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. you were scared and it's okay to be scared I don't like seeing him like this this fucking hurts
He has a tank. Yeah. It's that fight or flight situation. It's either a live or die. Hiroshima. Oh my god! You know what you understand now? Thank you. Creepy.
<laughs> oh my god, he's so fine. <laughs> oh my god, Jesus Christ. I just seen like the heaven, you know what? <laughs> oh god, in a weird way. I even said this when I was reading the chapter, it's like a long time ago. Um in a weird way. Mina is like, I, and I don't know how I got this, but I had to reread it one day. He's, she's like his light in a way. Besides, you know, the hero that he looked up to just as much as Deku, but the relationship that they have with each other and the fact that they can both combine in each other. Like, those are the many reasons of why it should have Mina and Hiroshima, like, so fucking much. And so I hope that, like, whenever this series ends, however long this series is going to go, whether it's going to go for, like, five years or ten more years, I would like to see them together. I'm just, that's just my big thing on them because I've loved them ever since I read this chapter and how they fucking look good together and just knowing that she like really cares for him. And you could always tell like any time when they taught there was something with him, but not too much, but still. And my man, my baby, fat gum, I care. <laughs> Oh, uh, God, I really thought for a moment they were going to turn this into a three-parter episode for him. I was like, oh, God, if they do that, I might be a little pissed, but it'll be okay. But it was a really good episode. Hella emotional for him. Especially just seeing everything be fucking animated. Was that what I think? Yeah, it was. Because I forgot they, yeah, because they don't show, they, they do show up, but then it's just like, because of the fact is that you haven't seen him and their group, you're, you know, the whole entire time you're sitting here wondering, well, damn, they've been like fucking MIA since the entire thing. And then th I think that is him, them. They, that has to be Toga and, um, what the fuck is your name? I can't think about it right now. I had it, but it was on the tip of my tongue, and I don't remember it. They're there, and I mean, so, you know, um, what's his face is there, too. But I mean, still, it was a damn good fucking episode for Kirishima, and I love the fact that, you know, between season three and season four, he's got, well, not honestly, really, from season two to this season, he's gotten a lot of screen time, and it makes me love him. Like, he's still in my thought phase, because I remember when I watched season one, and then I, when I did a reaction to season one and season two, and how I think with season two, I was like, okay, he's good, but I felt like he's still not getting as much screen time. And then when I read, <laughs> when I read the, like, the manga for season three and season four, I was just like, oh shit, like he's getting a lot of stuff. I was like, and that's why I said what I said between season three, the, the beginning of season three and the start of season three and going into this, that a lot of people were really going to love what they do for uh, for Kirishima because he's one of those characters that in the beginning I thought he was not going to get a lot of screen time or character development. I was thinking that they were going to have I thought it was going to be like a typical Shonen Jump anime where it's like, okay, we have our five or ten favorite characters that a lot of people like, pull wise, whatever, and these ten characters are going to get the most screen time out of everybody and then whoever's not like, like the least favorite of the group they're in the back burner and they're not going to they're going to get screen time but not as much screen time as this character this character this character this character like i mean i'm still wondering like the situation on tokoyami i mean yeah he he's out doing his own thing but i mean the next time we really officially don't see him is until after this arc is over and so what i'm kind of hoping um that they do because I haven't the the last chapter I officially read for my hero because I've been so fucking busy and I haven't had time to read it. I don't remember the um the fucking uh chapter number, but it's about uh 
fucking what the fuck is his name? It's fucking Roxas's voice actor from Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> Our, our main villain, not uh, not overhaul, but what's his face? So, yeah, League of Villains, dude. Him. That was the last fucking chapter I read about him, and his is so fucking good. And that's not coming for a while, but still, that's a good ass chapter. But I mean, just uh, I just wish, like, especially for Tokoyami and like several other characters who, um, don't really get screen time in this first half of the arc. I wish that we got something explained for them to possibly see what they're what they've done. Maybe in like one of the filler episodes, but because of the fact is we are very close to the end of this first half of the show, aka this arc and stuff, I don't think they're gonna do it. And if they want to do it, they may do it in the second half, like maybe towards episode twenty two, maybe even twenty three. But they're gonna have we are we already know as they're gonna have a filler episode that's going to be dedicated towards the movie. But we're only gonna know it till next year but other than that guys that is my reaction to towards episode 72 of my hero academia if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the matchup squad and of course i will see you guys officially all next saturday for episode 73 bye guys